everyone, Let, today we are going to introduce our ADP V Power Charger Wi Fi camera. Um, this is our box, how it looks like inside. We have one user manual, and this is our camera. And underneath, we have the hint for reset. Let's take a look at our camera. Here is the lens. And here we have the small tag. It says the cam ID user number, login password, access code. And here, and turn on the clip, we have the micro SD card slot. And here, this one is the reset hold. And here is the really powerful uh, USB port. Let me show you how to charge the phone while you use the adapter. First step, you need to download the app, create account here, and you use your email uh, email address. You can then automatically log in. The, this step, I will teach you how to connect the Wi-Fi with the camera. First, we go to the setting, connect with the cameras. IP signal from the list now is the AP signal and then we go back to the Fusion app now this one here here is our demo and for setting with this blue icon here there is Wi-Fi setting and turn it on this SSID you can find your Local router. Type in your password. And then you press save. And this time you'll hear a short tune. Confirm. It needs time to reboot. One to two minutes. After you reboot, you can have the camera on the device list. Now I'm going to show you uh, the little function of the camera. Here's the picture capture and this record now it's recording you can see the red dot here and let's see the listening you can hear the sound and this speak yeah you can hear from the device and hear the flip and, uh, after you take the picture and video and you can see from the album here we just took the one picture and the video and you, this is a really good function that you can share with your friends press edit and you choose whatever picture or video you want to share and press the share button here and you can share with your friends uh, press here is uh, at a, di a distant device if you have other camera ID you can type it here and uh, when you the first step you put the micro SD to the camera you can check if it the device can read the car come to the recording setting the um, number and shows if it can read the car and the default remote uh, record mode is continuous record we will have to choose the motion detection record save confirm and the second step you this automatically turn on motion detection and you can hear the, the turn here you can receive the alarm you can see the motion detection alarm and on this step is playback button and you will have to download download the video that you want and here we have one downloaded Tap it, uh, tap this one, you can play it back. Okay, when you are not sure if, here I'm going to show you uh, how you confirm if the Wi-Fi setting login success.